Elon Musk has got to go. Hey, hey. Oh, oh. Elon Musk has got to go. So Elon Musk is now promoting Ron DeSantis and his racist rhetoric. He's prom promoting the fascists. He's using Twitter. Yesterday alone, he used Twitter to broadcast a fascist who is currently developing policies that are anti black, that are anti trans that are anti-immigrants. If you're not in tune with the news, my brother, there has been an exodus of immigrants out of Florida. Why? Because they're being attacked. Ron DeSantis, and now Elon Musk is joining by giving him a platform, has added our immigrant workers from Florida into the terrorist watch in Florida. And he's gonna be using the terrorist police to separate our families in Florida. On top of that, he's creating racist policies, banning books, black and brown books, and targeting the LGBTQ community and trans people. When the immigrants are under attack, what do we do? I said, when the immigrants are under attack, what do we do? When the black community is under attack, what do we do? Yeah. Woo! Yes. Yes. When our trans brothers and sisters are under attack, what do we do? Stand up, so let's stand up and fight back. That's right. That's right. That's right. Let's stand up and fight back. In addition to supporting a fascist, he's also using us as his test dummies. He knows damn well his autopilot is not ready. So why is the transportation department, why are they allowing Elon Musk and others to have vehicles that are autonomous in the streets? Families are dying using those vehicles. He's using us as test dummies. Brothers and sisters, you know, we got to unite. We need to recognize that we workers that we produce everything in this country right. and we have nothing. Right. We have nothing and those that don't work at all has everything. And they determined to fire 75% of the people and let them on the street and they don't care what happened to them. But we have the power to change that. But we have that power only when we realize and we decide that we are workers and that we need to unite and change what's happening right here in this country at this moment. We're talking about us going to war, to a third world war. We're talking about that only 2% of the people on these nations are members of a union. We're talking about the fact that they are killing black and brown young men and women with total impunity. We're talking about the fact that we have security guards like this one over here that are being trained to become our enemy, that are being trained to kill us like they killed this young man Brown on, on uh, <coughs> Walgreens. That's what we're talking about. That's why these people come and tell us that this is private property, the street. The little bit of the street that we're standing up, they come to defend that instead of joining us. Because if they have any working class consciousness, they will come here and join us because their fellow workers have been fired and continue to be fired and nothing is being done. It is only we that can change that. This, this whole security guard situation is very dangerous. It reminds me of the death squads in Latin America. They started like that, being trained to defend the rich and powerful. Then they gave them guns and then they murdered us. And they persecuted us. And we had to leave our country because this country was there first. You're talking about immigration? You want to stop us from coming over here? Stop being in our countries. Get out of our countries. Stop looting our people, our countries, and we won't be here. We will not be here if you didn't take our oil, our oil. 
in our emeralds and our gold and our food, we will not be here. We will stay in our home, but you force us to be here. And then you come here and you try to kill us and destroy us. We need to open up our eyes. We need to open our brothers and sisters. Be thankful that we there to come here, the few of us that come here, to let you know the truth and to let you know that you have the power to free yourself. You have the power to free yourself. That's right. Join us. Join us, brothers and sisters. Demand justice. Stop the madness. No money for war. No money for war. The money should be used to home the homeless so that we can have also a free health care for everybody. That we have good paying jobs. This is what this struggle is all about, brothers and sisters. This is what this guy in Twitter represents. Repression, hate, racism, white supremacist, Nazi ideology. That's what they represent. So we urge you, brothers and sisters, we urge you to, to, to protest. We urge you to take a stand and to join us here and everywhere that you see that somebody is protesting for justice. Let us join. Let us join and then we will grow up and we will stop the madness. Nosotros los Latinos tenemos que abrir los ojos y realizar que hemos sido obligados a venir aquí por la explotación de nuestros países y cuando venimos aquí nos tratan como que somos la basura del mundo. Ahora los están sacando de Florida. Y pronto nos van a sacar de todas partes utilizándonos como un medio para justificar el racismo y la explotación de nuestra gente aquí en este país y en nuestros países. Somos parte de la clase trabajadora de los Estados Unidos. Y como clase trabajadora tenemos que unirnos con ellos y luchar por una verdadera libertad, por una verdadera justicia. Somos parte de esa clase trabajadora y eso es lo único que nos puede ayudar. 75% de trabajadores han sido despedidos. Nos están negando la vivienda en Florida. Y nosotros aquí, Dios mío, pensando que esta es la solución a nuestros problemas. No, no, no es este país la solución a nuestros problemas. La solución a nuestros problemas es que nosotros podamos quedar en nuestros países y vivir con dignidad. No tener que venir a vendernos por nada en este pedazo de mierda de país. Ellos dicen que nuestro país es mierda. No, es este país el que es una mierda. Y nosotros venimos aquí a que nos humillen, nos paguen una miseria. Comparado y le quitamos el trabajo sin querer, terminamos quitarlo en el trabajo a los otros trabajadores porque les pagaban más. Huelga, 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 huelga. A unirnos, compañeros, a unirnos, a unirnos en esta lucha. The field launch is a direct result. Okay, you want him gone. A lot of people want him gone. I think the workers should be running Twitter, not Musk. If the workers had been running Twitter, you wouldn't have had a crash. And that's the reality. He's crashing Twitter, he's crashing the world. We need a general strike to shut this country down, to get rid of people like Musk, to get rid of people like DeSantis. People of here have had enough of this madness, of this craziness, of this racist campaign. Time for the racists to go. It's, it's filled failed launch of Musk and DeSantis epitomies, these racist terrorists, these billionaires. These racist terrorists have to go.